One of the great mysteries of the release of Cyberpunk 2077 was that after much discussion about how, life paths, would determine the course of the story as they do in many RPGs, in the end, Cyberpunks had close to no effect on the game at all. The sum total of the entire life path idea was, so what happened? I came across a rather interesting theory by you v -V -E -E -V -E -E -V -V, that I hadn't really considered before, but the more I think about it, the more it makes a lot of sense. The idea is that many large pieces of the main story and its most significant side quests were formed through a hacking up of the original life path system, and in the end, they were all joined together, as perhaps the fear was that there was not enough content without all players having access to all quests, or there wasn't time to fully flesh them all out. The three life paths may be represented by major side characters in the game, Pan Am is clearly the nomad path, and while everyone has to meet Pan Am in the main story and most will see her quest through until the end, it seems possible that she was the nomad-specific path through the main story that other life paths may not have had access to. I'd say her storyline was the most fleshed out, including having the dedicated nomad ending of the game being the best one, that any life path can access, of course, Judy was likely the street kid path, and while Judy's romance, friendship path pans out, it's easy to see how aspects of her storyline were left unfinished or appear to be cut. The entire resolution of her taking over Cloud from the Tiger Claws happens off-screen. Evelyn Parker seems like she's going to be a major character in the story and yet she doesn't speak at all after her initial introduction, is kidnapped, put in a quasi-coma, and then kills herself, all without saying a word. Extremely weird. Something happened here. The Corpo life path seems the least fleshed out, but the idea is that it may have originally tied into Meredith Stout, another one of Cyberpunk's baffling, wait what happened to her? Characters. In her case, she seems set up to be a major figure, and strangely, the game actually builds in a one-off romance with her right off the bat, but she's never seen or heard from again after that. There are also additional hints about a corpo path, like Militech headquarters having a partially built-out interior that's never used. So, instead of three, separate paths player could have taken, they were all left unfinished in various stages, and combined into one central quest all centered around Johnny and Chip. In the end, the life paths don't change the game at all outside of six total, extremely short missions, intros that have little impact on the rest of the game.